My name is Jeffrey Davis. Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. And uh, again, we're always sharing the success of entrepreneurship. And uh, we are happy to be in our new studios. I like to say it all the time, 119 Braintree Street. And we have our own internet uh, channel. We hope everybody's following us. You can get your uh, iPhone app for what we're doing. Uh, just uh, try to connect with Derek LaRue, our executive producer, and he'd be glad to help you with whatever he's doing. The big man, Derek. Uh, today we have a returning guest, uh, Joe Finn from Argent Wealth Management. We have two things to talk to Joe about today. We'll talk about private investment and also his own firm uh, looking, looking into mergers. Hi, Joe. Hi, how are you, Jeffrey? Good, thank you. So, Joe, what's, what's up with private investment? Why don't I talk about the merger first, just because it's already happened, actually. So, Good. Um, so Argent Wealth Management, uh, we've been around for about over 20 years, and uh, another firm approached us, it was almost two years ago, uh, Pillar Financial. Uh, they wanted a buyout strategy for one of their senior partners, and we finally structured the deal as of um, November of last year, and we formally kind of moved in together in Waltham uh, in uh, the beginning of the year. So. Uh, our firm now has a billion three in assets, about 200 clients, uh, 22 professionals. The advisors that work with our clients have uh, over 30 years experience in the business. Uh, lots of uh, credentials and great experience. So just wanted to mention this, this merger because it's, uh, it's been a real plus for uh, our employees and certainly our clients so far. That's good. Uh, how's that affecting you at all? Well, it's affected me in a very positive way because I'm involved and uh, responsible for new business generation for the firm and it has only really enhanced that process so uh, we're busier than we've ever been in terms of prospective clients and our clients are very happy with the structures we've put them in so uh, it's been really good for me so now you're going to talk about private investments sure yeah that's something that i think is uh, a specialty of our firm we don't invest directly in private uh investments ourselves what we do is we go out and find partners that we can work with uh, to invest our clients assets when it's appropriate for them so um, we have a number of partners in both the private equity and private real estate area um, because of the relationship that we've built with them and also the um, you know the size of assets that we've put with them you know they have worked with us in terms of uh, lowering their minimums for our clients and also the terms for our clients. So uh, it's been really good. And we focus basically on the lower middle market of uh, the private equity space. Uh, it's been a really good area in terms of returns. And um, on the private real estate side right now, uh, kind of the core plus area of commercial uh, buildings is, is really a good area. And we've worked with a couple of firms in, in that area. And uh, the returns have been fantastic for our clients. Not that that's going to always continue, but uh, it's a nice uh, area to, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, just backtracking for one second. If you look at the large endowments, you know, the Harvards and Yales of the world, um, a lot of their excess return, and they've certainly uh, done very well over the years, has come from this private space. So we're very fortunate that we've kind of adopted this large endowment approach to investing. And we have somebody like Jerry Jacobs who really understands it so well so that our clients, because you can't really go in as a novice investor in that area. No. It's a little too complicated. 